We're back in our bathroom again. We bought this piece in round top. It's going to um, replace this piece. Yeah, this piece was here if you remember the last time. This has been blocking the end of our garage and we have tons of other projects to get to, but this one is so heavy. It had to go first. So we picked this up at Round Top for 250. It's not gonna fit right here. It's about half an inch to three quarters of an inch too wide. So I'm gonna trim it down. We're gonna paint it and make it work. I knew it was too wide when I bought it, but it's got this lip on the edge. So if we cut this down, it'll fit just fine. I love the original paint job. It doesn't match with what we have going on here. So we're gonna do white milk paint and let some of that blue original chippy come through and maybe find a nice balance. All right, so this old built-in cabinet only came with two handles, or drawer pulls, and we're gonna be using the two that it came with because they're really ornate and awesome, but we're gonna switch it up too. We've got some cup pulls that are cast iron that we're gonna use with it. And then I think to make everything kind of cohesive and match, all of the handles and pulls are getting painted. Can you guys see how awesome that pull is? We're keeping it. So this piece for $250, actually I think it was $225, I bundled, build. I don't remember what else we bought. But anyways, it probably sounds like a lot of money, and it kind of is, but to rebuild it would probably cost like $800. Well, it's poplar. Um, when I was cutting it, I'm like, oh, poplar. Yeah, and in the Midwest, this stuff is really easy to find, but out here in Utah, there are not a lot of pieces like this, and if they are, they're pretty expensive. So I felt like it was worth it, and I knew it was going to look good in my space, or at least... I thought it was. This one needs more, like screw down more. Okay. So these style pools here are similar to what we found on a lot of other old built-in cabinets. We, we picked these up from jrvhome.com. <laughs> well, I felt like if I used if I used cut pulls, then it would be like, oh, they were trying to match and they couldn't. But this is like, oh, they don't match and maybe it's intentional. So ordinarily, I would not paint over this awesome chippy original finish, but this blue just doesn't go with what we have going on. It's kind of a big cabinet, so it's overwhelming next to the buffet. So we're going to paint it white but we're also gonna distress it and bring back a lot of the original chippy, and I think it's gonna look good. I know, your guys are just so disappointed that I would paint over this beautiful finish. Sweet Pickens milk paint and flower sack, what we painted our buffet with. Still chippy and yummy. We've got warm water, I'm just gonna mix this up with a fork. It's convenient right here in the bathroom. So I'm not gonna add any extra bond to this. Seb says that he doesn't think it'll chip too much. I'm a little worried, but we'll find out. <laughs> It'll be on me if it all flakes off. But you know, it's already so chippy, and the blue colors, while it's not necessarily right for our decor right now, it's, it's okay. Like, it'll be all right if we get a lot of blue coming through. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna stick on there great. It's <laughs> just gonna soak it down into that old dried out paint. We'll probably get some good texture because it's so chippy underneath. That'll be good. You brought me a brush. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> I need you to paint up there. Okay, the high stuff? <laughs> yeah. I can't see that. I want Deb to put a little piece up there, but he said we paint it and see how we like it and then come back in 2029 20, and Revisit add a piece. It. Revisit the situation. I feel like I'm going to like it a lot the way it is. Oops. And dripping paint, but then we got a drop cloth. You know what? If you want to see drips, check out the inside of these cabinets. They're, They're just super drippy. We're always talking about how uh, old paint jobs are drippy and naturally chippy because the paint was thinner. It was like milk paint, and sometimes they mixed it thick and sometimes they mixed it thin. They, those are my people. They liked it messy, and they liked it just done quick and good enough. So I'm not going to paint the sides too much. It's going to be hidden back there. I'm just going to paint this edge just in case it can be seen. I'm going to strip down. We got to paint this side. So, you know, if we were to ever sell this, I'll revisit it at that point. But up against that wall, it's just wasted paint right now. Dude, somebody sold it to me for $250 and it wasn't even wiped down. So I feel, <laughs> I feel like we're all right. For real. 
It's part of the charm. When you're at Marburger, it's all about the chippy original goodness. People don't mind a little dirt. It's out there in the fields. It's gonna get dirt on it anyway. True story. I was so dusty and dirty every day. Going to Round Top was so much fun. All of those people loved all the things that I love and I felt a connection. You know, the more we talk to people though, they're like, oh, we're from Ohio or Kentucky or, <laughs> or uh, East Texas. I'm like, hey, maybe we just need to get the trailer out here and go hit some yard sales up. <laughs> no, I actually found that in the area that we were at, because it's known for antiques, the whole area was really expensive, even like Facebook Marketplace, because I looked it up because I'm always searching. We actually do have cheaper antiques. We just don't have like the original chippy paint antiques. This was the side that was probably originally up against the wall. <laughs> no paint on this side. Well, right. maybe. Can I get a dip? But it's a different color. It maybe was originally. I mean, it's been a few colors, it looks like. Yeah. They've been pulling built-ins out of houses for years. People, even back in the day, like to change up their decor and switch out their kitchen. And modern plumbing started coming into homes and electrical and stuff got removed and cabinets got redone and kitchens got modernized. So built-ins like this kind of went away for a long time. I feel like they're making a comeback, though. They are. I've seen it in a lot of like New York apartments. They're putting in like hutches and independent pieces that maybe were built-ins or maybe weren't, but they're bringing back that old furniture type charm and cabinetry and not just like straight up. And in our house, this addition was built in, you know, 2020, whereas the original home was built in 1917. So by using old pieces like this and old doors, I feel like it makes the two pieces more cohesive. Instead of, that's the old house, this is the new house, you know? We could hang towels on this side because you're going to see them as you walk into the room. You're so smart. That's a good one. It was good to put these poles here, though. They do look, once you paint them over, they look like something that would have been on this piece. It's weird because these poles are so fancy, mm -hmm. and this piece is not. Nope. But it might have been part of like a big bank of cabinets. Maybe. That had like crown molding over the top of it at one point. Yeah. It you might just, have led a much fancier life. Yeah, you just never know. Although it looks pretty primitive all the way around the way it's constructed. But they did that. Like back in the day, you'll see a really old like pioneer era door that isn't what I would call overly ornate. But then the handles and the back plates are really gorgeous. So it, I guess it just depends on which artisan made what, you know? Who was in charge of the decor that year? Yeah, or who, who built that handle? It's not like they is had- Is it a door off a barn or is it a door off a of grandma's pantry? I mean, <laughs> it's not like they had Home Depot and Lowe's with like selections, you know? They got their door here and they got their handles here and if you didn't like what they had, too bad. <laughs> Whatever was in the Sears catalog. <laughs> some, I feel like these hinges might be newer, but it looks like there were some square nails in this piece. This particular piece is really, really heavy, which is why we've been doing everything upstairs, but I did want to do some orbital sanding to really get the layer texture to come out. I'm using my orbital sander with 220 sandpaper to just knock off all the chips and even this out a little bit. So we've moved the drawers as well as the doors that we were able to unscrew, which is most of the front facade out front. We're gonna orbital sand those and then we'll probably wet distress the pieces that are left inside, which is the big part of the cabinet that's so heavy. I'm gonna be waxing this piece because it's super chippy. I'm not like worried about it chipping more. If I have to scrub it, it'll just get better with age. Wax probably isn't your like best option, I guess, in a bathroom, but I don't really care. It's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna go with it. In fact, our last piece, did we even seal that? Um, yeah, we did, we white waxed it. Oh, uh, we white waxed it. <laughs> so it's good, it held up fine. Yeah, it hasn't had any issues. The other reason I'm sealing with this with um, DIY clear wax is because this is super chippy. So if you put a liquid sealer on here, it's gonna cause that to chip even more and maybe uncontrollably so. Plus I just love the soft look of this. If anything happens to it, like if it gets scratched in a way I don't like, it's really easy to fix if it's just waxed. 
All right, look away. This is the part where I drill a hole in this so that we can fit electrical down through here on the top shelf and plug in everything that Jamie doesn't want to see. I do have like the world's prettiest toothbrush, but it doesn't go with my jam. Whoa. Well, we're through now. Electric toothbrushes, water picks, all things that require cords that I don't want to see on my counter. So I was a little nervous when we first started painting over the chippy because the chippy was so good, but I think it turned out awesome. It was really dirty piece, but a little bit of cleaning and literally two coats of paint and it completely transformed the look. I'm glad that we were able to save some of the original chippy look. I'm also glad that I get to enjoy a piece that we bought on our trip to Round Top every day when we're in the bathroom and storage. I can actually store towels and toilet paper in here and my previous cabinet didn't have enough extra space. If you like the paint products that we use today, visit jamierayvintage.com. We'll link the products and the hardware that we used below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. I'm untrue